This is not just any ship. This is a massive bulk carrier being guided with precision inch by inch by the power of tugboats. It's a dance between steel and the sea, where accuracy is everything. Bulk carriers are the backbone of global trade, transporting essential raw materials like coal, iron ore, grain fuel industries and economies worldwide. Their efficiency and safety are critical for maintaining the flow of goods across continents, making their maintenance of international importance. Docking a ship of the size is essential for ensuring its safe maintenance and continued operation. Bulk carriers play a vital role in transporting goods worldwide, and proper upkeep is necessary to prevent costly breakdowns and ensure maritime safety. Welcome aboard Aviation and Nautical Masters. In this video, we'll take you through the fascinating world of ship maintenance. Proper maintenance is crucial for these ships to ensure their safety, efficiency and longevity. Today, we'll guide you through the delicate process of maneuvering a bulk carrier into a floating dock and show you the following incredible transformation. Subscribe and join us on this journey. As we begin, watch how the tugboats maneuver this giant vessel into the floating dock. The coordination is remarkable. Each tug has a specific role, applying the right amount of push and pull to guide the bulk carrier into position safely. For example, some tugboats can generate up to 70 tons of bollard pull, showcasing the immense power needed for such a precise operation. Tugboats may be small compared to the bulk carrier, but they pack incredible power and in this operation every inch matters. Even a slight miscalculation could cause damage to the ship or dock. Notice how the crews on the tugs and the dock communicate constantly, using radios, hand signals and visual markers to ensure perfect alignment. These communication methods help overcome challenges like noise from machinery, poor visibility or adverse weather conditions, ensuring that every movement is executed precisely. Once the ship is inside the floating dock, the gates close and the dock is drained. The bulk carrier then sits on dry ground, ready for its next maintenance phase. The transformation begins when the ship is secure in the dock. First we see the blasting process. This is where high-pressure equipment removes the layers of grime, rust and old paint from the ship's hull. Blasting is essential to ensure the surface is immaculate before applying new coatings. Blasting is a demanding and meticulous task that requires careful attention. Workers use specialized protective gear to shield themselves from the high-pressure grit and dust. Environmental precautions are also taken to manage dust and contaminants, including containment systems to prevent particles from spreading and measures to protect nearby water sources. The process not only removes visible rust and grime, but also uncovers hidden areas of corrosion that could be critical to the ship's integrity. Removing rust and grime is crucial for the ship's longevity. It helps prevent future corrosion, which could weaken the ship's structure over time, leading to significant safety issues and costly repairs. In addition, blasting helps to create a slightly rough texture on the metal surface, which is ideal for the adhesion of new paint. Without this step, the new paint wouldn't adhere properly, which could lead to corrosion and costly damage later. As the blasting continues, the ship starts to look raw, stripped down to bare metal, revealing the accurate scale of this massive vessel. The transformation at this stage is striking as the ship sheds its worn, weather-beaten appearance in preparation for the next phase. Next comes the painting phase. The ship is now ready for a fresh coat of paint, but this isn't just about looks. Typically, specialized marine epoxy paint is used, which provides a protective layer that shields the ship from the harsh marine environment. 
This coating is crucial for stantying the vessel's life from the salty seawater to the wear and tear of daily operations. The painting process is a labor-intensive operation that requires careful preparation and precision. First, the surface is primed to ensure maximum adhesion of the top coat. This primer layer helps to seal the surface, creating a solid foundation for the epoxy paint. The crew must be meticulous, ensuring no spots are missed, as even a tiny unpainted area could become a weak point for corrosion. After applying the primer, the marine epoxy paint is carefully layered onto the hull. This type of paint is designed to endure extreme conditions such as salt, moisture and constant contact with water. It also contains anti-fouling properties, which help prevent marine organisms like barnacles and algae from attaching to the hull, reducing drag and improving fuel efficiency. Typically, this coating must be reapplied every three to five years depending on the vessel's operating conditions to maintain its protective properties and effectiveness. As we watch the crew meticulously apply the paint, you can see how even coverage and precision are essential. The process involves multiple coats, each adding to the durability of the vessel. The colors come to life as they restore the bulk carrier's appearance and more importantly, its resilience against the elements. The painting team works systematically section by section, ensuring that the entire hull receives equal attention. The result is a visually stunning ship and one better equipped to withstand the challenges of the open sea. After completing the dry dock maintenance, the bulk carrier is finally refloated and it's time to ensure that all systems function flawlessly. The ship undergoes a rigorous sea trial, an essential phase to validate the repairs and upgrades performed during dry dock. The vessel's propulsion, steering and navigational systems are tested thoroughly during the sea trial. This trial is also an opportunity to check the integrity of the freshly painted hull, ensuring no issues arise when the ship is back in its natural element. The crew works closely with engineers to monitor every detail, from the ship's stability to engine performance. Adjustments to the rudder alignment or fine-tuning the engine's fuel efficiency are standard during sea trials. Any minor adjustments are needed during this phase to guarantee that the vessel is fully ready for its return to service. This final stage is critical to ensuring the ship can safely and efficiently transport goods worldwide. Bulk carriers are among the most essential vessels in the global maritime industry. These ships are designed to transport dry cargo such as coal, grain, iron ore and other bulk commodities critical for many industries worldwide. Each bulk carrier can carry thousands of tons of cargo, contributing to the approximately 11 billion tons of goods transported by sea annually. This makes them vital to keeping supply chains running smoothly and supporting economic growth. Loading a bulk carrier is a meticulous process involving specialized equipment to distribute the weight and maintain the vessel's stability evenly. The cargo is typically loaded through large deck hatches, allowing for efficient and rapid loading and unloading. Once loaded, these vessels traverse long distances across oceans, ensuring essential raw materials reach their destinations. The importance of maintaining these vessels cannot be overstated. A well-maintained bulk carrier is safer, more fuel efficient and less likely to face disruptions. Their reliability is crucial for industries that depend on the timely delivery of raw materials, making routine maintenance and repairs, like those done in the dry dock, incredibly important. From the precision of the tugboat manoeuvres to the intricate blasting and painting process, this bulk carrier is now fully restored and ready for the seas again. It's a reminder of the unseen but essential work that goes into keeping these maritime giants in top condition.
Routine maintenance like this is crucial in preventing significant issues down the line, ensuring these vessels remain safe and reliable. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Aviation and Nautical Masters for more in-depth looks at maritime and nautical operations.